Just in the last 30 days, we had two businesses show that they were racist toward black folk. It started with the King Street public house owner, Jimmy LaTulipat, calling black people niggers. And we had the young incident with the gentleman at the Somerville pool. Get out! Now! There's three numbers I could dial. 911. Little punks. Get out! We also had the Deco nightclub saying that they would not let black patrons in without a membership card. Enough is enough. Stop telling us you don't want us. You want our culture, but you don't want us selling it. for resisting arrest and illegally selling palmetto roses in downtown Charleston near the historic Charleston market. And you know, this is a pretty common sight to see teenagers and children selling these palmetto roses. That's what's gonna happen next. You're gonna have someone who doesn't look like me selling these roses. And I bet you it'll flood this city. You're gonna have someone that doesn't look like your grandmother selling those baskets. And it's gonna happen. It happened back in the day. You see us on King Street. And they're very special. They were going up for years and years. It's passed on from generation to generation. Who do you to have no business running down young people selling a two dollar roll? Here we got a man that took eighty thousand dollars and got slapped on the back of the wrist. He didn't get no ticket. He didn't get jail time. But a look, young 15, 16 year old young man got thrown in jail. Stop criminalizing our children. We know the history of Charleston, South Carolina. If I live in a $9 billion tourist industry, and I know that wealth can be shared any and everywhere among any creed or color, then it's about time we start doing that.